Have you ever wondered what life was like as a student athlete at a Division I university? To put it simply, being a student athlete is the ultimate balancing act. From practice to games and recovery, not to mention your schoolwork and outside life, student athletes are expected to not only be exceptional players on the field, but model students off of it as well. Ask any student athlete, they will tell you that it takes a lot of dedication and hard work to be in their position. Welcome to College Search. My name is Joe Frescott. At College Search, we take a look into the lives of Division I athletes at Long Island University to see what it truly means to be a student athlete. In today's episode, we will meet Dominic Pieto, a pitcher on LIU's baseball team. Dom is a sophomore at LIU Post and was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The communications major is currently in rehab due to an injury he suffered just weeks before the team's opening series. To learn more about his story, let's meet Dominic. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second episode of College Search. Today, I'm joined with Dominic Pieto. Dominic, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, Dominic, before we get into more of your life, let's, uh, let's start with the basics. So uh, what is your uh, year and major? Uh, I'm a sophomore, and I am a communications major. Communications major, very nice. So uh, where are you from, Dominic? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, and uh, how was your life growing up as a kid? You know, pretty standard life. Got uh, two little brothers, one older sister. Everyone played sports. I played just about everything you could think of until high school when I played football and baseball and then got an opportunity to play baseball in college. So, Very nice, very nice. So, um, you know, outside of baseball, what are some of like, your favorite hobbies you like to do in your free time? So I love the golf outside of baseball. I'm not very good, but I love golfing. Um, uh, I'm addicted to my phone and TikTok right now, currently. And other than baseball, I enjoy being in the uh, weight room and lifting. Yeah, very nice. Um, do you have any like favorite movies, TV shows you like to binge? My favorite TV show of all time is Friends. Honorable mention to How, you, How I Met Your Mother. I know they're about the same show, but... <laughs> and then my favorite movie of all time is Moneyball. Very nice. And um, if your teammates and uh, friends had to describe you, how would they describe you? I mean, I would hope they would say I'm a charismatic, outgoing kind of person. I think I'm a little bit sarcastic, but uh, try to be as nice as I can, a little outgoing, and the best person I can be. Very nice, Dominic. All right, so now we're going to go on to our second location. Out at the field today, Thursday, getting ready for the weekend. Guys hitting, got live ABs coming today, uh, getting ready to take home a series. Boys are working. All right, guys, we're now at the baseball field here. Uh, the boys are getting a little batting practice in before their game against Wagner today, and obviously, Dominic, you will not be participating in that. So uh, I think before we get into anything else, you got to address the elephant in the room. Um, what happened? Uh, How did you uh, get this injury? So the week before our first weekend, uh, I was throwing a bullpen, and on 60, the 60th pitch of my 80-pitch bullpen, I felt a pop in my elbow. I shut it down. It was, you know, the telltale story. I felt a pop, went to the doctor, and they told me I uh, tore my UCL, so I had uh, UCL repair surgery, not quite Tommy John, so I'll be out for the next six months uh, doing rehab, and I had surgery just about six weeks ago. So uh, how was the surgery and how has the rehab been so far? Anything surprised you? So everything was good. Uh, surgery went well. I uh, have a nice big old five-inch scar on my elbow now. So that's a little keepsake for the rest of my life. And PT is going good. It's a struggle at the beginning, kind of boring, just a little slow, just because you got to work your way back into it. But now we're getting into, or I'm almost out of the brace. I can do a little more uh, leg workouts and a little more with my arms. Very nice. So, um... Did, I, did this injury, obviously, you know, it's, it's devastating. You're going to miss your uh, whole sophomore season. But is there anything, like, you know, this taught you and that you learned that you took away from it? It definitely has uh, brought me back a little bit. I was excited for this year. had a lot. Uh, I felt opportunities coming my way. And obviously, you know, when you're at least expecting it, God will give you a bump in the road, a speed bump. So it's just another challenge along the way. I'm excited to tackle it head on. I've been working hard so far in PT, and I'm excited to get back to it. So you'll be back in six months, correct? Yeah, so just about September. All right, very nice. So, um, so obviously, you know, the injury devastating, but you'll be you'll be back for your junior year, so that's exciting. Um, so, you know, before the injury and even before LIU, when when did you actually start playing baseball? So I started when I was four years old. My dad coached my T-ball team uh, back in Pittsburgh. Me and a couple of buddies have been playing ever since. I've had some of the same kids on my T-ball teams all the way up to high school. Very nice. So. Um, so how was your, you know, uh, career in baseball career in high school? Did you did you hit and pitch, or did you just strictly pitch? Yeah, so I was always a hitter and pitcher. I even committed as a hitter and pitcher here at LIU last year because of COVID. Everything was shut down. I didn't really get to hit a lot because they wanted me to focus 
pitching because that's where I was going to get on the field. And now this year I took it upon myself to just shut the bat down. I became a pitcher. But in high school, I played just about everywhere. My sophomore year, I played second base. My junior year, I played third, short, and caught with a little bit of pitching. And then my senior year, I was supposed to be our number one pitcher, our backup catcher, our uh, primary first baseman when I wasn't pitching, and filling in other spots when other guys were pitching. So I was able to play a lot of the field, got me good experience everywhere. So you're doing it all pretty much. <laughs> so um, so how was the uh, recruiting process like for you after high school, or actually during high school? How, how did you get here at LIU? So my process was a little crazy. I was a camp kid, so I came here. Uh, our coach had a, was holding a prospect camp, and my dad and I took the drive up and did a camp on Saturday and then a camp on Sunday. And after the camp on Sunday here at LIU, uh, Coach Gaffney, who's no, no longer with us, came up to my dad and was like, we really like your son, like we'll be in touch with you guys. And then over the next month, month and a half, uh, we had constant contact. I came up for another visit, came up, got my offer, and then I believe it was two weeks after I got my offer, I committed. So it was a perfect fit. I was excited to come here and play baseball. So it was an easy decision. Yeah. Great. You know, a lot, a lot of uh, athletes recruiting process could be complicated. That's not pretty sure you right. So happy to hear it was an easy process for you. So um, so during the season, you know, obviously it's like a chaotic time. Uh, what, what does like, it look like for you as, a, as an athlete? So during the season last year, it was a lot, uh, a lot different than this year. We had COVID restrictions. We were testing twice a week. But this year it's been pretty simple, simple back to normal. Uh, practice Tuesday or, or, or a game, same thing with Wednesday. Thursday we had practice to get ready for the weekend. We kind of do a lighter practice, BP, some uh, ground ball stuff with the pitchers. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's, it's game. So we're here at the field for a 1 o'clock game. Guys will get here as early as 8, 9 o'clock. But uh, team stretches at 10, and we don't get off the field until almost 7 o'clock. So it's a grind, but it's also what I love to do. So nothing to complain about. It's a long day. So how does that compare to more like the off season when you guys, the season's over? What what does that look like for you guys then? Yes, yeah, so the off season's kind of different. Uh, we have a lot more inner squads, so it's just us versus us. Uh, pitchers getting their work in, throwing bullpens, facing batters, taking ground balls, hitters always are in the cage. Even when we're uh, practice out, we got guys in the gym dropping down the cage, hitting for hours on end, just trying to get their work and getting ready for season. Very nice. So. Um, what are you most proud of in your uh, baseball career so far? Could be LIU, could be um, you know any other time. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think my proudest moment was being able to commit to a Division One school. It's always been my dream to play baseball in at the second level and even farther, hopefully. But uh, being able to commit to LIU my senior season uh, was just a goal I was looking forward to my whole life. So definitely my proudest accomplishment. Very nice. Um, so obviously a lot of different athletes, you know, they, they have different, you know, reasons why they play a sport, why they love the sport. What does baseball mean to you? I mean, baseball has been my whole life. I've been playing since I was four years old and haven't had a summer off since I was five. I've been grinding with my dad, uh, long road trips, a lot of bonding in that, a lot of hotel stays. Um, just something I fell in love with at an early age. My parents always will say the story when I was, I think it was 18 months old. They brought me to my first uh, Pittsburgh Pirate game. And I sat on my dad's lap and didn't look away for all nine innings. It was the craziest thing they said they ever saw. Just a less than two-year-old locked into baseball. And ever since then, this has always been baseball. My first word was ball. So baseball has been my whole life. True, true love for the game. Exactly. True love for the game. So um, obviously you got a lot of time left here at LIU. But um, after you graduate here, do you plan on, on trying to uh, make it to the MOB and go pro? Yeah, it's always been the goal. I always wanted to be a professional. I always had the dream. So as long as uh, the path can pave its way and I can work hard and get to that point, I would love to honestly get there. All right, great, Dominic. All right, that concludes it from here on the baseball field. Now it's our third location. Had enough class, got a quiz, getting ready for finals week, baby. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to our third location here. We're in the classroom. Of course, a big part of athletics is education. You're a student first. Um, so, uh, Dominic, why'd you choose communications to be your major? So after college, I want to get into sales, and so I figured communications would set me up into a broad spectrum of no matter what medical or regular sales that I get into, I'd be prepared to get into it. Okay, very nice. Um, did you always know you wanted to uh, pursue a communications degree and go into sales? I actually started out as a sports management major, and uh, halfway through the semester last this year, first semester, I switched to communications. So why did you make the switch? Was there anything wrong with sports management or the change? Just a career change. I always thought I was going to be like an AD or a coach at a collegiate or high school level. And I still would love to coach at a 
high school level, even college if I got the opportunity. But I figured setting myself up for a job that would, you know, pay the bills, set my family up right, that's where I would like to go. Very nice. So obviously you're only a sophomore, so only two years into this thing. But um, how have your grades been so far? Uh, good. I've made dean's list once, and I just made president's list last semester. So doing all right. Very nice. Great job. So has anything surprised you at all about the, you know, the level of work or, um, or anything academically so far in your college career? So uh, once I switched to communications, it definitely threw me off when I got to make my schedule and had to get this class and make a TV show. And I was in a cl uh, show where we just watch movies and review them for the class. So definitely a little bit different than what I expected, but a lot of fun. Very nice. You know, glad to hear you're enjoying it. So um, you talked a little bit about it, but what would you like to do after, um, after college? You get your communications degree. You know, what, what would be your, your dream job? So ideally, it's always start the family, you know, get married, have kids, um, and then get a job in sales, if that's medical or any sort of sales to get into that, and then either find a job as a coach for baseball or football in the high school level or the athletic director at a high school level, just to kind of get myself out there and do what I want to do, coaching, and also be able to do something I think I'd be good at and pay the bills. All right, very nice, Dominic. All right, guys, that's going to conclude from the classroom. Now on to our final location. Checking in here, 7.30 in the morning, here for PT at AMP, Evolve PT. Road to recovery. Brace is officially out for six weeks out. Time to get to working. All right, guys, we're on to our final location here behind the water fountain in Humanities on the beautiful LIU Post Campus. And uh, we asked every athlete on the show, Dominic, uh, why did you choose LIU? Uh, I have family up here. My mom grew up here until she was about 11, moved down to Pittsburgh, met my dad. And I have uh, family in any direction you could turn out of campus, about 30-minute drive. And it gave me an opportunity to play the sport I love in college, so this was the perfect fit. All right, very nice. And um, if you had to just narrow it down to one thing, what do you say is your biggest achievement so far as a Shark? I can't really say much yet. Uh, I'm still a sophomore. I didn't have a lot of opportunities my freshman year, and obviously if had a bump in the road heading into this year, but I hope this year was going to be the year we ended up getting the NEC championship win. So the best is yet to come for you. I completely agree. Um, so a lot of people, you know, have personal heroes. Would you say you have one yourself? Uh, I think my hero would be my mom or my dad. I think uh, they both have grew, uh, grew up with different challenges in their lives and have passed that along to me. My dad lost his father when he was young, and my mom... Uh, her, her dad did, wasn't really around a lot, worked, traveled a lot, and she uh, moved to a different state. And so both had challenges that they went through and have uh, bestowed that knowledge onto me throughout their lives. Very nice. So, um, you know, a lot of athletes have different motivations and, what, you know, what keeps them going. What keeps uh, Dom going? Uh, I think just the love of the game. Like, every time I step on the field, it's just put the smile on my face, something I love to do and I'm waiting to get back to so just the challenge of competing and just being out there great um, so athletes you know there's it's a, it's a big you know uh, balance between their sport and school and you know their outside life so how, how do you find time to you know balance it all out uh, procrastination is always a challenge for me in high school and so I had to challenge myself when I came to college to really push myself in the classroom as well as in the weight room and on the field so I honestly schedule myself almost every week to try to get a certain amount of things done in a day, if that's lift or uh, a homework assignment or whatever it may be, just to try to stay on top of everything. All right, very nice, Dominic. So that's going to do it. That's all the questions I got. Thank you so much for joining me today. That's going to do it for Episode 2 of College Search. Thank you for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.